Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019 Hit Parade Basketball Platinum Limited Edition Series 16. I think we've got a different edition of this basketball available on personal breaks, at Jazbees Breaks. If you want to check that out. All right. But this is the Platinum Limited Edition. Big thanks to these folks for getting into the action. There are the teams right there. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Five and a two, seven times for each list. One, two, three, four. And seventh and final time. After seven, we've got Edward Petty down to Jared. Is it part of the Petty family, maybe? Kyle Petty's kid? All right, five and a two, seven times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six. And seventh and final time. After seven, we've got the Los Angeles Clip Show down to the Memphis Grizzlies. There's no checklist for this, ladies and gentlemen. They only made 10 cases of this, 10 boxes per case. Um, yeah, no checklist for stuff, these repack type products. So trade at your own risk. In fact, there may not even be any trades at all. Edward with the Clippers. Jin Yin with the Thunder. Steve Locke with the Raptors. Josh Proust with the Bulls. Nick with the Cavs. Stephen K with the Heat. Danny with the Celtics. Robert with the Suns. Tyler with the uh, Wizards, Emma with the Jazz, Matthew Shear with the Mavs and the Hawks, Mark with my Lakers, Brandon with the Bucks, Scott with the Knicks, Chris with the Trailblazers, Rick with the uh, Magic, JD with the uh, Kings, Drew, Pistons, Adam, Pacers, Nick, Pelicans, Rich, Golden State Warriors, Tyler, Spurs, Jacob, Hornets, Adam, uh, Nuggets, Ryan with the Nets, Drew Kerr with the 76ers, Steve's kid, Tyler with the Rockets, Cohen, Fawcett, Ferrisson, Timberwolves and Jared Spielman. Do we know any Spielmans? Chris Spielman, Lions, uh, with the Memphis Grizzlies. I don't know. Jared Spielman's been breaking with us for a while. He has not revealed if he's related to Chris Spielman or not. Okay. Traits. There's the limited edition right there. This is case 8 out of 10. Let me know if there's any trades. We'll give it a few extra minutes here. orders. Nothing quite sold out yet. All right, no? No trades? TWC, trade window closed. Chris Beeman was born in Canton, Ohio. I was born in uh, Warren, Ohio. I don't know if that's close. My parents moved <laughs> to LA when we were really young. Or when I was really young. Two years old. Doesn't count. Matthew Schwartz, have you earned any pro athletes joining breaks? Yeah, every once in a while, Panini uh, and Tops have had um, have had events, and they've invited some group breakers. Uh, I went with we had a we went to a TriStar event too, and we had. Am I blanking on his name? My head was in basketball mode. Football player, running back for the Raiders, then went to the Vikings, then went to the Saints. Really tall guy. Latavius. Murray? We broke with him. I think he did some NT with us. We had a couple of football players during some Panini events do some cards with us. No basketball. I think Nick went to a spring training event. Um, and I think John Gray busted, Rocky's pitcher busted open from stuff with him. Oh, to join a group break itself? I, not to my knowledge. I mean, they they could be. Uh, I mean, they could be incognito. <laughs> no, I had to spit that out, Sean. La la la, Latavius. Nah, not gonna not gonna work here anymore. Would we be able to get 
designers from Tops or Panini to join the chat on new releases. That would be kind of cool. I don't know. I don't know how public those companies want them to be. We used to have, there was a couple, uh, I mean, representatives from Panini and Tops do watch a lot of group breaks and group breakers. So I wouldn't be surprised. What happened with this box right here? I wouldn't be surprised if there are some people watching right now or the Hit Parade people watching right now. And you can share your hit with them. All right, what do we got in here? Thankfully, it's well protected with that sponge. It's going to be Gary Payton, the glove. Gold Pulsar, 6 out of 10. 5 out of 10. From 1415 Prism Basketball. Wow. Obviously, Sonic stuff goes to the Thunder. Jun Yin with the Thunder. Nice. And remember, folks, if they're in their non-pro uniform, like a Team USA or a college uniform, then since, since there's no checklist, they'll go to the team they played for the longest or the team that they're uh, currently on. Although, now nah, maybe we'd go with the checklist. I, that, that does look like Bubba's work. This does look like my pug's work. That's exactly what it looks like. He's a good dog, though. I've had him since he was this big. Never would chew on wires. Never would tear up house plants or anything like that. You know, wasn't that you know didn't wasn't a yappy, yappy dog? Well, the only thing that he would boxes. If I had like a box of like Claritin or something like that, or. Or, paper, or like a paper towel like rolling on the ground. He would just tear into that and just destroy that. All right. There's Kyrie Irving, Cavs edition. Nick, I kind of tripped myself out. If this was a Team USA one, would we go by the prism checklist from that year? Yeah. Right? Yeah. When would we do college rules? <laughs> if there was just no, check, no checklist, just didn't exist. Like with those elite boxes. Or yeah, like the 2017 elite draft picks. If right. Rubric Checklist has a checklist, we go by that. I'm just tripping myself out. Cavs. It's a Friday. Okay. I know. <laughs> College rules don't apply, folks, because most likely they'll have a checklist. Yeah. Unless it doesn't have a checklist. If, I don't know if, if 12, 13 would, but yeah. I guess some older products wouldn't have a complete checklist with teams, yeah. All right. Cavs. That'll be for Nick Kova once again. Yeah, even if it's a college card, if there's a group break checklist for the college card, right. it'll go by group break checklist. Yeah, Nick is like a producer for a game show, like a judge on a game show. It's like, Nick? I mean, be like, this is how it'll be. I would say I'm the banker and dealer no deal, but you don't know what that show is. So. <laughs> I don't know what that show is. Whoa. Kobe Bryant. R.I.P. I miss you, Kobe. Come back, baby, come back. Twenty-five. One off the jersey number. 25 out of 99. That's awesome. Lakers. Mark Copeland. I mean, don't, don't you think Kobe Bryant would have some poignant stuff to say about, you know, about the police, about COVID-19, about life stuff? I feel like he would. Shame. All right. I don't know how to open box and I've lost the ability. Oh, you're welcome, Mark Copeland. There you are. That's really nice. Wait. I guess not. Sometimes. Sometimes on the bottom of the box, if it's like a big hit, they'll, they'll add like another one of these like extra cards, which are about like yay big. And they'll be like, hey, if you take a picture of yourself and uh, you uh, send it to our social media so we can use it for promo stuff, we'll uh, send you 50 bucks of Hit Parade credit or something like that. But isn't there. All right. There's Clay Thompson. 
Is that rookie Clay Thompson, Panini Marquee? I know he's pretty young there. I don't know, from 12-13, marquee basketball. It doesn't have... Oh, it does say rookie right here. Duh, there it is. Golden State Warriors, Rich Schmidt. There you go, nice. Rookie auto from marquee basketball. All right, yeah, Mike. I think he did... Kobe Bryant did did pass away. He passed away the day after our grand opening here at Jaspies. And we came in the next morning, and there was the news was all over the place. It was crazy. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was like a month or so before any shelter-in-place stuff ever happened. At that time, Kobe was the big news. I'm sure Kobe, not COVID, was the big news. Because COVID was just something that was happening in China, something that was happening in Italy, something that was happening elsewhere, you know? Like, not, not here. All right. There's some Ascent basketball. That's Jason Tatum. Nice. Rookie Ascent. Jason Tatum stuff is doing quite well. Danny, 262 at 299. Uh, let's take a look at that again. 2013-2014 Panini Pinnacle Basketball is your Kobe Bryant autograph. What, the Kobe thing, Rebel? All right. Next one is Mono Gino Emmanuel Ginobili. That is 819 out of 1500. Wow, from 0203 SP Authentic. That's got to be his rookie year, right? Yep, rookie FX. Spurs, that'll be for Tyler. It's autograph right there. Kind of hard to see in this light, but that looks pretty cool. All right, four boxes to go. Next one. And we've got Larry Bird. Nice. Championship bling. Gold ink autograph. Celtics, obviously. It goes to Danny Connell. Uh, wh what, is, what is your definition of soon, Kai? But yes, it'll break tonight. We've got this and another break to go. Like the next hour? Yeah, that'll break in the next hour. If it sell, Unless other things sold out before then, but I don't think they have, so. All right, Kobe White autograph from Donner's Basketball. Nice. Josh Pruce with the Bulls. 2 more to go. Oh, feels like a graded card, yeah. All right. We've got a 9-5-10 rookie jersey and autograph. Shea Gilgis Alexander, Clippers edition from Encased Basketball. Nice. Clippers. Edward Petty. There you go, Ed. I feel like people, people like collecting the SGA. People seem to like him. 
All right, and the final box of the 10 box, Random Team 3 of 2019-2020 Hit Parade Basketball Platinum Limited Edition Series 16. And the final hit is going to be... Joel Embiid, rookie, patch autograph from Spectra Basketball. Got some Spectra football on the site right now, folks, if you like this Spectra design. I know I do. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com for more hoops. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com for more Spectra. Check it out. Sixers, Drew Kerr. There you go, Drew. Thanks very much for getting in. Thanks, everybody. I'm Joe for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.